Hello, students. Today we are going to talk about another topic in database, which is called structured query language, or we can call this SQL, or simply pronounced as SQL. Okay, what do we mean by SQL or SQL? Actually, it is a programming language for maintaining data. Especially large amounts of data in a DBMS, so like this should be DBMS database management system. And with SQL, we can insert data or make queries on data, or we can update or delete data in a database management system, and it is also called a fourth generation language. And we will talk about the generation of programming language in later topics. And SQL is also an NC standard. It is a very well-known standard in database. And here we can see an example of a query. And we are actually performing records filtering. For example, we have a large table here. This is a table. And we call this rows, the records in the table. And we also call this the columns or the fields of the table. And we can see that the rows store all the related information of a particular customer. We have customer ID, customer name, contact name, address, city, postal code, and country. And therefore, each row or each record has the same structure in the table. And as you can see, in the second table, we have fewer records. And can you see why? Actually, only parts of the records or rows are displayed. And you can see that all the records has the same country. That means only the records with the country name UK or United Kingdom are displayed. And this process is called filtering. And now we are going to see how can we use SQL to perform filtering in a database table. And in this whole chapter on database, we are going to make good use of this website, www.freeschools.com. It is a very comprehensive website on learning many web technologies such as HTML, JavaScript, and SQL, SQL. And therefore now you can start your browser such as Chrome and then enter this website, www.freeschools.com or just follow the hyperlink I've just posted in the Emoto group. So this is the website of www.freeschools.com and you can check out the link Learn SQL, Learn SQL and you can find this button, try it yourself and this will lead you to an online interactive website where you can actually input some SQL commands directly and then the website will display the corresponding results on the screen and now we can look at a very simple example on SQL statement, which is select star from customers. And actually this statement select all the records with all fields. This star, this asterisk means everything, every record and every field or columns. And customers is actually the name of the database table. And therefore, this statement, select star from customers, will select all the records from this database table customers. Looks that SQL is not case sensitive. That means, and that means this select is the same as this select. Sometimes we just don't need to select every column. For example, in this second 
statement. We can specify the required columns. For example, customer name and city columns. And therefore, we can just write down the column name or the field name. Select customer name, comma city from customers. And when this statement is executed, then all the records will be displayed again, but but only the data in the columns, customer name and city will be displayed. In the first example, we add the word disdain before the name of the column. And therefore, when the following statement is executed, it will select only those distinct values from the city column. For example, this select distinct city from customers. That means if two records has the same city name, only one city will be displayed. And now it's time to add the where clause in a SQL statement because sometimes we don't need to include every record in the search result or the select result. We just only need those records which satisfy a specified criteria. And for example, the following statement selects only those customers from the United Kingdom. And therefore, we add the WHERE clause here. Select star from customers. WHERE country equals to UK. And we can see that this WHERE clause includes a criteria where only those customers with the country United Kingdom will be selected. And so in this process, we have actually performed a filtering on all the records. Here we have another example on the where clause. This statement selects only those customer with customer ID less than five. Therefore we write the where clause in this way. Where customer ID less than five. Therefore this is the filter condition or the criteria. The WHERE clause actually includes a number of operators like the equal sign, not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. And these operators are quite similar to that we have used in the spreadsheet. But the WHERE clause in SQL statement includes three more operators, which is between, like, and in. The between operator represents an inclusive range, while the like operator is an operator looking for a pattern in the data. And the in operator can specify multiple or possible values for a column. So let's first look at an example of the between operator. If we want to select only those customers with customer ID between 5 and 10 inclusively, that means both 5 and 10 are also included. The boundary conditions or numbers are also included. Then we can write down the where clause in this way. Select star from customers where customer ID between 5 and 10. And when this SQL statement is executed, all the records where the customer ID is between 5 and 10 will be displayed. For customer ID less than 5 or greater than 10, they will not be displayed. Next, we come to the like operator. The like operator. And it helps us to search for a particular pattern in a column or a field. For example, if we want to see that all the customers with a city beginning or starting with the letter S, 
Then we can write down the where clause in this way: where city like as percentage sign, and this percentage character or letter, and we can call this the wild card characters. And this percentage character or letter actually represent zero or more letters or characters. So that means S percentage actually mean all the cities beginning with the letter S. And we have to remember we have to include or enclose this part with a pair of apostrophe. With the like operator, we can search for different patterns in the data. For example, we can select all those customers with a city ending with the letter S in this way. We can write up the where clause like this: where city like percentage S. And since this wild card character represent zero. Or more letters. Therefore, percentage S actually means all those city names ending with the letter S. And as you can see, this pattern percentage S is different from S percentage. Besides the percentage wildcard character, we have another wildcard character. Known as the underscore character, and this underscore character represent one and only one letter or character. For example, the following statement: Select all the customer record with a two-digit customer ID, and they all begins with the letter one. So we can specify the where clause in this way. Select start from customer where customer ID like one underscore, and this underscore wildcard character represent only one letter. Therefore, this will always be a two-digit customer ID, and so we can make a very simple conclusion. A wildcard character can be used to substitute for any other characters. This percentage sign represent zero or more characters, and this underscore character represent one single character. And when these wildcard characters are combined with the like operator, we can look for a particular pattern. In the data, sometimes we need to specify multiple values in the where clause, but these multiple values they are not connected, or they are isolated. For example, the following statement: Select all those customer with a city in Paris or London. Since these two values. Are isolated, so we cannot use the between operator. But with the in operator, we can write down the where clause in this way: where city in Paris, comma, London. Again, we need a pair of apostrophe in each value, and we have to we have to enclose these values in using a pair of curly brackets. And therefore, the in operator is very useful in specifying several values which are not connected or isolated. And therefore, in this double lesson, you are required to design some SQL statement for the following queries, but you have to use the products table. So, in the W Free School website, click on this products table. And you will see all the records will be displayed using this select style from products statement. 
And of course, your classwork in this lesson will be you have to design SQL statement according to the instruction in this eight question. And after you design the SQL statement, enter it using the wvschool.com website. And then you capture your screen for every query and paste it in a PowerPoint file. And remember, in each slide, copy the following questions as the title of the slide and turn in the PowerPoint in a photo.